Hey you guys, I hope your day is going well. I had to share a mistake that I made um, with a blind buy that I wanted to kind of do something different. I wanted to do like a mystery buy. And mm -mm, it just did not work at all. I mean, to the point where I can't even like try to play with this perfume. I just, mm -mm. so I was searching. I said, let me search for a niche perfume. That's my thing. Something a little bit different that I've never heard of. So I ordered a perfume called Bala Versailles. Sorry about the glare. So the box is super, super pretty. And this is the perfume. Because when I saw the bottle, I said, oh, I'm definitely going to try this one. Because the notes, they were a little bit different, but I'm like, this can't be too bad. It's not that different from what I typically wear, according to the notes, right? So this is the bottle. So pretty. I mean, I'm all about bottles, so. But unfortunately, this one, mm-mm. And if you guys have heard of this or if any of you have this, you know, comment and let me know what you think about it because rarely do I return perfumes because I like to experiment. I like to try different things, but I don't like this at all. It has resins, amber, civet, which is the issue. It's like an animalic kind of musk, um, leather, which I absolutely do not like. And mind you, I didn't go and look for any of the notes or do any research on this perfume until I had already ordered it and it was already shipped because I wanted it to be a surprise. No. Um, there's also, there's rosemary in this, there's orange blossom, there's rose, jasmine. I can't really smell those notes. I maybe smell a little bit of rose, but the leather and the animalic note they just kind of take over and there's a cedar note in this so it's to me it's just really masculine so I said let me see what they're saying on Fragrantica because I just don't like this and it was like kind of 60 40 where you had the majority of people they were really digging this perfume and the others just kind of felt like it kind of had a fecal smell and I was like, why did I not read this before I ordered this perfume? I don't get that from it. But to me, this just smells like Brut Cologne with soap, like a soap version of Brut Cologne. And with the notes being what they are, I don't know how this turned into that. I mean, it could be my body chemistry, but you know, after I read you know, some of the reviews, I can kind of get that it's the perfume and it's just, you know, as your mileage may vary, pretty much is what it is. It's an acquired taste. But this, unfortunately, is going back as pretty as it is. So I wore it and walked around in it and I was just like, I feel like I'm, I smell like a 50 year old dude. And there's nothing wrong with that. I like older dudes. I like, you know, I'm in my 40s, so you know, I'm not hating on the 50 year olds. I'm just saying that I don't want to smell like my uncle. I don't want to smell, smell like a guy. And this is just masculine. To me, obviously, it's considered just from what I'm smelling unisex, but I just do think it's better suited for a man. Then again, you have women who do like leather notes and maybe more masculine scents. I don't. That's not my thing at all. So unfortunately, this was a mystery buy just gone completely wrong. Because for blind buys, I consider that something where I've kind of done some research, I've heard about it, and I have a general idea about what I'm getting. I didn't know. And um, I was just so disappointed in this. It's just, I just don't like it. And unfortunately, the scent lasts the whole day and so I was kind of just walking around with it and getting whiffs of it it's not offensive but it's just not it's not for me to me it's just not feminine at all so Bala Versailles big mistake so I'm just gonna have to be careful about like experimenting because I just I get tired of returning stuff so but this is gonna have to go back but I got another one which is not as horrific as this one it is Haifa. I did a little Swiss Arabian 
um, splurge again. And this was only like 30 something dollars, so it wasn't too bad. But this is it right here. This is a perfume oil. Real, real pretty bottle. But um, this one is a little bit different in the sense it's sweeter. I can consider this feminine, though it's unisex. It has, interestingly enough, some of the same notes as the Bala Versailles. It has rosemary, it has orange blossom, it has jasmine, um, and it could be like, and there's oak moss and patchouli in this, and that is what I smell predominantly, like when it dries down, the oak moss takes over. And when I want a sweet perfume, I don't really want oak moss to be the scent that I'm left with. But unfortunately, with this one, it is. There, there's amber and the patchouli. They're they're kind of balanced out with the with the oak moss, but that's it's just a heavy predominant scent in this. And this is a perfume oil, so it's concentrated. And it, and it just lasts, you know? And when I get whiffs of it, I'm not turned off by it, but I just know that it's not something I'm gonna reach for a lot. And I got Casablanca from, um, from you know, Swiss Arabian also, and I actually don't reach for that as much as I thought that I would. It's kind of in the same vein where it's sweet, but there's just a note that's just a little bit off for me. But I, I kind of know what the issue is here too. And there's mint in this. And uh, what is it? Palm leaves. Palm leaf is a, is a note in this. So it's green. It's a green floral, but at the same time, it's sweet. So there's just, for me, there's like a little too much going on in here. And though I like complex perfumes, just this one is not working out that great for me. I probably will keep it because I think given the sweetness of it, I can mix it with some things and try to make it work a little better for me. But this bad boy right here, I can't do anything with it. There's nothing that I have that I can think of that would work with this and make this work. So this was just a mistake. And I almost wish I could just like pour this perfume out and, you know, put something else in there just so I can keep the bottle. But no so anyway i just wanted to share those mistakes um i usually do pretty okay you know with the blind buys but i just did not do well this time so i just wanted to share that hope you guys are having a great evening or day when you see this and um i will see you in the next video subscribe like and i'll check you later bye